Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to part 5 of Let's Play LEGO Star Wars A Complete Saga with Mr. Crane's Game 13. Okay, so in the last part, we finished the story of Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. We'll be going back there later to do everything else that we need to after we've completed the story mode. But Anyway, next up we're going to move on to Episode 2, Attack of the Clones, my favourite of the prequels. But before we do that, let's buy some characters. Gonk Droid, PK Droid, Battle Droid, Battle Droid Security, Battle Droid Commander, Droid Droid Eater, or Destroyer Droid, Captain Tarples, why not? Boss Nass. Um Now I know a lot of people are gonna disagree with me on this, but I actually quite like Boss Nass, he's nowhere near as annoying as the other gun guns. And to be honest, I actually think he's pretty funny at times, so yeah. Uh Roll Guard, Padme, Watta. Pit Droid and Darth Maul. Those are the only characters we can buy for now, but we can also buy um, a couple of extras. Extra Toggle, Fertilizer, Disguise, Daisy Chains, Chewbacca Kain C3PO, and Toe Death Star, and Beep Beep. Oh, and the Super Slap. Um, not going to explain what those are. You, know, you can look them up yourself. But there's also a few gold bricks we have to buy. For now, I can only buy gold brick one and gold brick two, but as we progress through this story, we'll be able to buy more. So, gold brick one and gold brick two. I believe that's everything we can get so far. Oh, wait, no, we can buy some hints as well. And this is only a percentage, really. Um, this one, this one. I'm not going to bother reading out the hints because they're useless, really, if you already know what to do like me. But, funny story there. When I first played through this game, I was so close to 100% in it, and then I realised that I was like 96% of the way through, and I, I was like, oh shit, what do I need to do? And so I realised, it took me ages to figure this out, but it turned out I just needed to um, buy the hints. But anyway, episode 2, Attack of the Clones. And here we are going to go into chapter 1, Discovery on Kamina. What, wait, wait what? <laughs> Bounty Hunter Pursuit? What's this? A new level? Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Chapter 1, Bounty Hunter Pursuit. The Galactic Republic plunges ever deeper into crisis. Count Dooku leads a separatist movement which threatens the future of the Republic. On the glittering city planet of Coruscant, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker guard pa Senator Padme Amidala as mysterious assassins move against her. But yeah, as you can, as you could tell there, this level was actually not in the um, original Lego like, Star Wars, as you could tell by like my tone of surprise there. I, be I believe this and another level from the Phantom Menace were actually originally intended to be in the original Lego Star Wars from what I know, but were taken out and then um, they were deleted from the game for some reason, I don't know why, maybe they didn't have time to finish them, but they managed to finish them and put them into this game, which is great. However, the other, the deleted level from the Phantom Menace counts as a bonus level in this game, so yeah. That's, uh, I'm guessing they put this in to make, because, um, you know, it wouldn't make sense for Attack of the Clones to only have five chapters and all the other episodes to have six. I mean, it didn't really make sense in, uh, the original Lego Star Wars, because, um, Attack of the Clones in that game was the only episode that didn't ha that have mo that didn't, that had less than six chapters, that didn't have six chapters, so, uh, yeah. And also, I can understand why they, um, no, I'm, I guess they wanted to make all the levels anyway, uh, six chapters long, so that's why they put um, the um, deleted level from the Phantom Menace, which we'll be getting to later, um, in the bonus level section, so, yeah. And also, um, as you'll be able to tell when we get to that level, there are, like, areas that you can go to, like, in free play, but... You can't get anything, I don't think. I mean, I haven't been there before, but... 
yeah, from what I know, you, you, um, I'm guessing those were originally, originally meant to be like the red brick and mini, sorry, red brick and mini kit um, locations, but can't get them. It shows goes to show that that level was originally unfinished. So it was originally meant to meant for the original Lego Stars, which honestly it's a shame that you know these two didn't. Levels didn't make it in the original Lego Star Wars, but you know, I'm glad they managed to see the light of day in this game. So, yeah. Wait, in case you're wondering how I know, um, know my stuff, basically I did some research on these levels on Wikipedia. I, I, for fun, I was just looking up the release dates of the Lego Star Wars games, and when I of the Lego games, sorry, not just Lego Star Wars, but when I came across Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, um, um, according to Wikipedia, um, Bounty Hunter Pursuit and um, the other level from The Phantom Menace, which is in the bottom of the section, were originally going to be in the original Lego Star Wars, but they were deleted. Um, I, I'm not, I, I mean, I might need to read that article again. I mean, you know, maybe there was a good reason for cutting them out, but from what I saw, I couldn't really find any valid, legit reason being for having those two levels taken out of the original Lego Star Wars, but you know what? Okay. Apparently they were taken out. But you know, I'm 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 just just gonna go ahead and assume it wouldn't make sense um, for Anakin's flight at least to you know the Phantom Menace to have seven levels. Although it would have been cool, and you know, for as for Bounty Hunter Pursuit, I'm guessing actually no, for both of the levels, I'm guessing they weren't quite finished. Same with. Um, I mean, that's, that would be, you know, the most um, legit, valid reason for not having this level bound to him to the original Lego Star Wars. But anyways, as you saw there, I actually couldn't um, comment on the cut, on that cutscene there because I was busy explaining the um, or origins of this level and one of the bonus levels that we're going to get to later. I'm not to keep saying that. But. Ah. You can stop being repetitious. Bad habit of mind. I hate repeating myself, but I, I do it a lot. Anyway. I don't know, maybe I secretly like um, repeating myself, but just don't know it. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, but yeah, so basically... Um, the reason I'm not, you know, doing much here is because I'm, once again, I'm trying... I'm going for True Jedi, I'm trying to get as many studs as I can. But don't worry, I'm going to be get, getting some action as soon as I get enough studs. So. so this is probably going to be like the most boring let's play ever. Unless I already said that during the Phantom Menace, which I think I did. Yeah. So anyway... Not much else to say really, I mean, I've pretty much summarised this level and its genesis. Basically, it's a scene from the movie where where pretty much basically what it is is as you can see it's um right at the beginning whenever um Padme gets um almost assassinated by an unknown bounty hunter and well actually no um you learn the bounty hunter and, yeah it's Zap Zam Wessel that's the name of the bounty hunter that's trying to kill her and basically Anakin and Obi-Wan have to chase Zam down 
and you know, get him and basically catch the killer. So yeah, basically once again I'm going to be getting all the mini kits that I can in story mode and I'll come back and play for the next time get. As per usual. Although I'm probably going to, you know, get a lot of stick for saying that Attack of the Clones is my favourite and of the prequels and also just saying that I like the prequels in general. Okay. Uh, I don't know why, it's just... For some reason, Attack of the Clones was always, it actually used to be my favourite Star Wars film overall, but you know, as I grew up, I began to appreciate the original trilogy more and more, and you know, I just saw the prequels as, uh, you know, well, they're pretty good, but, you know, they're not, uh, they're not, you have to face the facts that they're not going to be good as the um, original trilogy, so, yeah. But anyway, so Attack of the Clones is my favourite of the Star Wars prequels, mostly because, I don't know, it's just, um, I mean, I know a lot of people complain about the whole love story thing with Anakin and Padme, and while I, you know, I suppose it could have been done better, I actually didn't mind it. Uh, of course, the acting was a bit off at times. In fact, it was off most of the time. But, you know, it, I suppose it could have been done a bit better. But, you know, it wasn't anything too cringeworthy. You know, it, it, was, it was bearable. It was watchable. Anyway, yeah, that's why um, Attack of the Clones is my favourite of Believe it or not, I actually like the love story between Anakin and Padme. And I honestly didn't mind Jar Jar Binks because he wasn't, well I did mind him at times, but you know, he wasn't quite as annoying as he was in The Phantom Menace. Oh ho ho, Jar Jar Binks. Uh, Flip. I was gonna say speaking of the double you have to shoot him down but yeah basically to get a mini kit in this uh, in this level you have to shoot down a banner of Jar Jar Binks that floats by which is awesome but for some reason he oh wait there he is there he is and I believe you only get one shot at it but you know I could be wrong, you know, he could pop up like one more time and that could be like your last chance. I don't know, but from what I know, he only pops up that once and that's the yeah. And you know, if you miss him, you have to start the level. My god, that was a big fail. Um, but yeah, I'm basically here, yeah, I'm trying to get as many stuff as I can yet again. Just for the sake of true Jedi. Um, I will try and make the rest of this LP, you know, after we've um, done the story as less boring as possible. You know, it won't be as boring because we won't be going for True Jedi. Because we've got them on the story now, but so, so, yeah. Okay. Basically what we have to do here is we have to shoot these cannons down. Torpedoes work on them as well, but you know what? Guns are the quicker option, so. Right then. 
Basically, only torpedoes work on those yellow things, which you, have, which you do have to take down, so... Yeah. If you thought you could get away with using lasers, well, think again, I guess. Okay, so basically to get all these torpedoes up, we need to push those green things. And here we are. Ah, oh, crap. But yeah, so I... Act anyway, I actually remember, when I was a kid, despite the fact that I already had LEGO Star Wars 1 and 2 on... PS on the PlayStation 2. I so wanted to get this game, and I don't know why. Call me stupid if you wish. But I thought this game was actually out for the PlayStation 2, despite the fact it never been advertised. I just assumed it was out for the PS2. So basically, I begged my parents to get me this game, but I never ended up getting it. And why? I'm guessing they never saw the PS2 version installed, which I can understand now because now I know that it was never a PS2 release, which is a shame. I mean, I know it was released for the um, HD consoles and Nintendo DS, but come on! I mean, the Nintendo DS and the Xbox 360, for that matter, both got a release of LEGO Star Wars 2. Yeah, it's not LEGO Star Wars 1, but LEGO Star Wars 2, so you could have, you know, released it for the other consoles as well. And if we shoot all those, we get a, uh, we get a mini kit, I believe. Not like this. Yep, this is a brick. Right then. So we're just going to basically, it doesn't have to be boring anymore. Yay! I do believe we're gonna probably gonna miss a couple of lasers. One. Ah. Unless the other one can get it there, okay. We've got another mini kit. The win. There we are. So the total stud count for True Jedi in this level, as you saw earlier, is actually 35,000 studs. And for some reason we are getting major lag here. But then again, I did leave my Wi-Fi on, but the thing is, I changed my security. I have Norton now and not Kaspersky, and Norton, from what I know, doesn't update, so I don't know what's wrong, but okay. Okay, so basically here, same as last time, only it's in, you know, you, there's not just two lots of cannons, not even three, but four. Four times three, 12 cannons we have to take down in twelve. I can't believe that I forgot to turn my wife off again. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. It's just, you know, the lag wasn't going to show any mercy unless I turn my Wi Fi off. So, anyway, we're back now. I promise I will try to keep this lag as less frequent as possible. So, yes. So anyway, now that that's destroyed, we can go through and face the boss of the level. I guess you could call it a boss. But yeah, it's basically really, really easy. All you have to do is shoot Zan's ship. Sh shoot Zan's ship and, like multiple times and then Bob's your uncle. There you are. See how easy that was? And quick. Oh my god, who was that? It's Django Fett, as we find out in the next level. So, stud magnet unlocked. Brilliant. So we unlocked Anakin Speeder. Yeah, good times, good times. New um, vehicle unlocked. And another true Jedi for the win. One, two, three out of ten.
Put them in the kits. All right, deal then. So that's another two gold bricks, which gets us to 16 out of 160. Times that by 10, you get all the gold bricks. So, anyway. I'm going to continue story here. And see what our... Um, see what our description for the next level is. Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Chapter 2, Discovery on Camino. As Separatist activity continues to destabilize the galaxy, Obi-Wan Kenobi investigates the, attempt, investigates the attempted assassination of Senator Padme Amidala. With, the assist, with his astromech droid, R4P-17, the Jedi Knight tracks the source of a poison dart to the remote world of Kamino. And here we are. This is Kamino. Pretty boring planet, if you ask me, to be honest. I don't know. But I do like how in the prequels, you know, there, are, there is a wide variety of planets and, you know, it leads a lot to the imagination to discover what more worlds are out there. So, yeah. Alright then, so join me in for part two of LEGO Star Wars Complete Saga so when we do chapter two, the original chapter one in LEGO Star Wars 1 of Attack of the Clones, Discovery on Camino.